Joining us now, Stephanie Link, Chief Investment Strategist at Hightower and a CNBC contributor. And, and Stephanie, I referenced you earlier. I was going to ask you some of, of this stuff. I mean, when it, it, we get a lot, I get a lot of papers, and most of them say the same thing: ignited a global stock market rally. One stock, Nvidia, and it, you know, it. it in one day, its market cap increased by the size of Qualcomm, biggest ever. So it, it was it was very, you know, it, it was amazing what happened. But but what does it mean? Is it just is it animal spirits about uh, AI or something globally? How, how do you how do you see it? And I know you don't own it. You own a lot of stuff, other stuff that would benefit from AI. But how do you view that? Is it, makes, is, it, is it so good for mankind that stock markets rally around the world? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a really big deal. The hyperscalers told us this past quarter that they are going to spend on CapEx a huge amount of money this year, uh, $193 billion this year on AI and the equivalents of AI and all the things and the pieces that go into AI. And so why it's so important is it's great for NVIDIA, but it's also great for so many other companies. And that's why you saw the big rallies yesterday in every kind of connected name, software, semi, semi-cap equipment. And so if you're going to see the hyperscalers spend 23% growth this year, then that is going to have this effect across the board, and that's why we rallied as much as, as we did. I don't, 14, it's 800 now, so I, I, that, that's close to 2 trillion at this point. And, and the move to a trillion was very quick since 19, I think what came public in 99, I think. And then the move from one to two has got to be uh, a record. But what about my, I guess I, I'm, I'm just thinking big picture, and, and it's going to be good for all of us. We're going to have dr quicker drug discovery. It's going to allow us to, to diagnose things more quickly. It's going to collate data and analyze data that, that makes things easier. But are we all, are we going to be in a UBI world? That's what I worry about. Are we going to be any role for humans? We're going to be more efficient. We're going to be more productive. We're not going to take away from the human aspect. We still need perspective. We still need some gray hair in this world, right? We still need people to have opinions, but it will help us. And, uh, and, and I think that's probably a good thing. So I think, you know, look, this is, we all knew that AI was a very big total addressable market. And the last couple of quarters, NVIDIA has reinforced that, but other companies have reinforced that as well. Um, AI is only as good as the data that you, you put into AI, into the systems, and we're getting closer and closer and closer. And so, you know what, we'll have to see how this whole thing plays out, but I do think it's a tool. It's a really good, productive tool, and I think that is good for mankind. And you mentioned healthcare. How about farming and precision ag farming and what about you know kind of uh, building architectures and all kinds of various what about the retailers what about the restaurants right you're hearing ac across the board companies that are embracing all of this so that's why it's such a it's such a big deal whether you want to chase nvidia the stock itself up here i'm not sure you want to do that i wouldn't but i do think that it's real and the total addressable market we're getting more confirmation that that is real too we're looking at uh, uh, some of your uh, ways to play ai broadcom ibm uh and snowflake so uh that's your way of yeah. of, of being here at this point yeah well look i mean i think broadcom is just much more diversified so it definitely has ai data center cloud but it has networking um it has enterprise it has a lot of various different ways that you can that you can win they're the number one custom asic supplier so they have exposure that's a 12 billion dollar uh, business for them um they are the number two ai supplier and that's going to give them about eight billion dollars per year and that has grown by the way their uh, AI business was 10% of total revenues last year, Joe. It's going to be 25% next year. I mean, that's amazing growth for a company of this size. Um, and they have grown revenues three times what the industry has grown. And the stock is trading at 27 times forward estimates. 
NVIDIA IS AT 32 TIMES. SO MAYBE NVIDIA DESERVES TO BE AT 32 TIMES. BUT I THINK 27 TIMES FOR A COMPANY THAT'S DELIVERING, I MEAN, FREE CASH FLOW, free cash flow GROWTH AND AMAZING uh, GROSS MARGINS, INDUSTRY LEADING, I, I KIND OF LIKE THAT, that, uh, that STORY. YEAH. I'd better have some good stuff though. Twenty-seven times is still, you know, twenty-seven times. But but uh, we gotta, you know, we gotta get used to these numbers.